brought to you by Knights of Awakening. This is the Labyrinth. Welcome, everyone, and today is another Labyrinth episode. Today's show is another skit based one, and I'm enjoying these skit based. They're funny, they're educational. And today, I am going to go take on the Dark Lodge Coven. Belonging to many mystical groups over the years and having affiliations with numerous organizations, I have found that there are times when I will come across an organization that does not mesh with my ideals or whose ideals I do not mesh with. I received the summons from the High Dark Lord Elder himself, from the Order of the Dark Lodge Coven. I knew that this was serious business, sealed in wax and blood, and how a wax blood seal was on a United States postal envelope, made it through the mail, completely intact, I'll never know. Some of their necromancy, no doubt. But nonetheless, I read the letter. I was summoned immediately to the coven's location, where I must now discuss with them my crimes against this mystical order. You have arrived. Yes, I have. What is it I'm being charged with against the Dark Lodge Coven? What is it that you believe I have done that is worthy of my summons here and that I must be judged by five of my peers unworthy of any association with any mystical order? You know what it is you have done. You know what it is that you have done to bring our wrath upon you. The spreading of mystical knowledge, I thought that's what this order was all about. I thought we were to bring an understanding of the nature of mysticism to take the darkness out of the shadows and bring it into the light, to take the light out of blindness and bring it within to the view of the crystal clarity of a true light within the world. That is the only thing I am guilty of, is, is providing truths and realities that people can grasp upon and an understanding of the nature of mysticism and what it really is. So what is it I am charged of? Don't waste my time, Dark Lord. You have provided untrue informations. You have provided informations that are not real that are not valid forms of mysticism. Your energy work is suspect, and your methodology is wrong, and we know this to be true. You are spreading a false idealism of mysticism, and in that you are ruining the good name of mystics everywhere. In what way? I challenge you. In what way have I disseminated false information? In what way have I said anything? that is not true, that is not right, that is not real within the mystical methods and communities, in what way have I in any way impugned against the good names and the good works of Aleister Crowley, of D, of Father Sebastian, of Buckland and Tyson? You tell me in what way that those that I have learned from through their books and through their methods that I have practiced, in what way have I done anything against them? It is in the very show that you have done Recently, your attack against real vampires, your attack against the methodologies, your attack against all of it. We knew that you were a dangerous influence. We knew you would bring the truths to light. But we did not know you would do so in this way. We did not expect you would turn against our truths, our realities. All of my methods have precedence as set forth within the Golden Dawn, Crowley's work, or, in the case of my most recent episode, Father Sebastian's work. You cannot claim impropriety in my methodologies nor what I've expressed. You, you can't. You very simply cannot. Not truthfully. And the very basics of Father Sebastian's works are rooted within Golden Dawn methodology and Crowley's own work. I mean, the very nature of the Golden Dawn... We do not speak of the Golden Dawn here. The methods are heretical to the true vey. The true what? Excuse me? Never mind. 
further charges of go of dissemination, rising an army against us, of of bringing others against us, and bringing forth those who could stand against our order, those who could destroy the Dark Lodge of the Coven. Who? Who is it you believe I am allied with, or that I raise an army with, that I would take it against any group? Who is it you believe would, would stand against the Dark Lodge of the Coven? You know, wh what power is it you believe I have obtained, or who is it you think that aids me in this? The Knights of Awakening! You're not a Dark Lord of a mystical order? I recognize that accent by the hammer of Thor himself. I'll show you for what you are. I said this as I threw back his cloak, his pale pasty skin. In the moonlight, I had found me a Dracula. How dare you, how dare you peel back my hood and show me for who I really am. How dare you with what you have done, because what you have done truly, the charges are sound, and what you have done is truly evil and against the Dark Lodge of the Coven. You still hold to these charges, you b sucker? After revealing you for who you are, you still hold these against me? Very well, very well. Tell me the charges then in your own words. Drop your pretenses. You pretentious Dracula, and tell me what it is that I've done to offend this order in such a harsh way. You're dead. You dared to speak of the vampires. You dared to go and, and speak of what we really are, to preach true good mysticism. You dared to bring forth the name of the Golden Dawn. You dared to bring forth the name of reputable works and reputable mysticism for which there is no doubt that it is working and functional and good. But more than that, more than that, you, you are a mason in disguise, you are, you are a heretic, you are all of these terrible things, and I know it to be true, and I can prove it. For you, you do not even take part in sucking No, no, you, you definitely have got me there. That's one thing I don't do for power. But you can't argue my mystical methods. You can't argue my practices, nor can you argue the validity of my past work. I brought to light the truth of the differences between real vampires and fake vampires. But what else? What else is it that you believe that your method is superior to mine? I want to hear this. I want it right from the words of the Dracula himself, the head of the order. Bring it, big man. There is no true personal power in any path. Power is taken by draining it from the by the narration of or by the very nature of taking power from other sources. There is no direct power for which a man can gain your and your key gong and your golden dawn. Your other methods are a perversion of the true path. I will tell you what you have done. You have attempted to tell people they can be more, that they can be greater, when the truth is that it does not take training, but it takes happy thoughts. It takes nice ideas. If you simply believe a thing, it will be true, and we know this, because all you have to do is believe in the And you have all the power you need. If you believe in the then you have all that you need. All you have to do is worship. All you have to do is worship the path, and you will have more than enough, but instead you preach hard work. You preach sacrifice, and these things, these things are an abomination to our ways, to our truths, and we know this. And all of the members of the large coven will stand against you. All of them will scorn your name, but we know that the true power comes in the of the highest high, in the worship of ourselves, the worship of our, of our leaders, and of those above us. You must maintain the organizational structure. You must look at those above you, and you must worship their You must worship all that they are and all that they have done. You must worship all of their body of 
you know that that's kind of sad. I had hoped when I when I came to this organization, I mean, a dark lodge coven, you would think, you would believe, you would have to believe that there'd be some level of understanding. After all, no one takes the name Dark just because they're a pretentious jackass. That'd be like taking the name Witch because they want to sound cool. That would be like taking taking the name Wizard because they think it makes them something. I thought that an understanding of the nature of hard work I thought that an understanding of the, the natures of what is and isn't real and that there's much more to this world than one ideal or one idea would be present. But uh, you really don't know the forces you've unleashed because, you see, I don't worship anything. I'm a Norseman. We don't bow down to our gods. We don't get on our knees and praise their gods. We earn their respect by working with them. Our rituals and our ceremonies are meant to recognize the gods within us, the very powers of the gods that move within us, and how we are an aspect of them and they're an aspect of us. This may be a little bit complex for you, Dracula, but let me spell it out. The very nature of the universe is greater than anything you will ever completely understand. You can't begin to fathom all of the many facets of it. And that means you have to take an open mind to many, many paths. You have to look at many, many things in order to truly, truly begin to tap into the wellspring of the universe to truly see this. But I, I imagine that this must pain your ears to hear this. No, you must make it stop. I cannot hear this anymore. Your words, your words burn me. They, they burn me. They are not a proper attribution to the... They are not a proper attribution to the thing that we worship, which is the the administration. You know, real power comes from the ability to accept those things you don't agree with, those ideas and those views that don't necessarily settle completely with who and what you are, but still work alongside them and still gain something out of them. Real power, real knowledge, real skill comes from hard work. Dedication. Discipline. I'm proud of my mystical heritage. I am proud of all the things that I've done and been through to reach the point that I'm at right now. And I am very, very proud that you've given me this opportunity to refute you in public. But now, as I hold aloft my mighty meal near you and your five others who stand here to judge me will recognize the wrath of Thor. With that, I had unleashed the mighty bolt of lightning yet again. And I had, I had vanquished the Dracula once more and his five fellows. But I recognize that for every one Dracula, for every one cult, for every one group that preaches a twisted view of mysticism, I will have to face a thousand more. And this will not be an easy road for me. But that's okay. I've been doing this since 2011. Maybe even a little earlier than that. And you know, it's a job that I like. It's a job that I'm glad to take on. And I'm glad that the Knights of Awakening stand by me in this. That we expose intolerance and misunderstandings. We expose that true excellence comes from hard work and dedication. You can't just happy, flunny, fluffy bunny it. You certainly, certainly can't do it without awakening the night within.